I'm Regina Hoffman, Executive Director of the Patient Safety Authority. Given the constant daily demands and challenges of healthcare, it is so important to take a moment to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of those who go above and beyond in providing safe care for their patients. That's why we hold our annual I Am Patient Safety Achievement Awards and why I'm so pleased to announce the winners of this year's contest. Judges selected 10 individuals and teams from 186 nominations. These outstanding submissions came from 94 healthcare organizations throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and across the United States, representing small critical access hospitals, large academic medical centers, long-term care facilities, and ambulatory surgery facilities. Thank you to everyone who submitted a nomination. And now for our winners. In the first category, Safety Story, the winners are Suzanne Swift and Nancy Patterson from St. Christopher's Hospital for Children. When a patient with diabetes and his mother had difficulty learning how to calculate the proper dose of insulin, nurses Suzanne and Nancy developed a simple addition sheet that used verbal and visual cues to help them understand the process and figure out how much insulin the child should receive easily and safely. The insulin dose calculation sheet has been used for many patients since and has made a huge difference for families with health illiteracy, so they can leave the hospital confident that they can manage their child's care at home. In the category of transparency and safety in healthcare, the winner is Behavioral Health Six Spruce Shared Governance at Pennsylvania Hospital. This team created a form to help behavioral health patients and families identify two support people who the patient approves to be informed. To ensure communication is safe and efficient, they used the last four digits of the patient's medical record number as verification of this consent and designated times when the support people can call for information. The result was less distressed calls from support people around their loved one's care and more confidence in knowing who the patient wants to receive information about them. In our next category, Nationwide Warriors, the winner is Cindy Brinkley at Riverside Walter Reed Hospital. When the health system transitioned to a positive pressure needleless intravenous site connector, Cindy raised a concern about its design posing a high risk of spilling nuclear medicine when the syringe is removed. Such spills can result in unnecessary exposure and temporary shutdown of the room, delaying patient testing and care. The product representative confirmed this was expected and a change in technique may not avoid the risk. Supply chain leadership supported the safety concern and sent a neutral valve to be used with the at-risk nuclear med patients across the health system until further evaluation can be conducted. In the category of sepsis, the winners are Haber Monla Hassan, Olivia Johnson, Christopher Anderson, and Kim McCoola at Einstein Medical Center Montgomery. To improve compliance with three-hour and six-hour sepsis bundles, this team in adult intensive care worked with the technology department to build a smart notification to fire in the electronic medical record when the sepsis order set was being signed. This notification not only reminds the provider to document fo focused exams, but also opens the specific field for documentation. Combined with provider education when this alert went live, this implementation has improved compliance from 67% in February 2022 to 100% throughout the first and second quarter of fiscal year 2023. The winners in the category of individual impact are Jenny Rex and Dr. Adrian Zerka, Penn State Health Milton Hershey Medical Center. During routine rounds, a graduate nurse asked Jenny Rex how staff would perform CPR on a complex patient with severe spinal hyperextension. Jenny and Dr. Adrian Zerka explored the literature and collaborated with the Simulation Center and the Fabrication Shop teams to design and create a custom backboard that would allow clinical staff to safely and effectively perform CPR for this patient. 
They tested the methods of providing compressions with the board, and once the most effective approach was identified, RECs provided comprehensive hands-on training to clinical staff who cared for this patient to ensure proficiency in the techniques needed to use the board effectively. When a resuscitation event required the use of the custom board and innovative CPR techniques, the patient experienced a positive outcome. In the category Ambulatory Care and Surgery Facilities, the winners are Ambulatory Surgical Center and Infection Prevention Registered Nurses at Penn Medicine Pennsylvania Hospital. The nursing staff at the Ambulatory Surgical Center and Infection Prevention Team teamed up to create a competency-based education collaboration. They designed an infection prevention training program for healthcare personnel and created measurable competencies, which contained observable skills and behaviors that one demonstrates as part of their job performance. To ensure that this education and training was translated effectively to practice, the team performed audits and encouraged feedback from the staff. The goal was to promote adherence with standards of care and help sustain effective practices. Benefits of this intervention include building relationships between operating room clinical staff and the infection prevention department, maintaining compliance, and creating a culture of safety. In our next category, timeouts, the winner is Sarah Frey, Lehigh Valley Health Network. An order was placed for compounded sodium chloride 0.22% for enteral use for a 23-day-old infant. Pharmacist Sarah Frey, recognizing the gravity of providing hypertonic saline to an infant who does not require it, including major fluid shifts and brain side effects, performed her own timeout after the solution was compounded and scanned appropriately. Upon visual inspection, she realized the dispense prep computer program had a malfunction which allowed incorrect components to be barcode scanned without error, and the order had been prepared using 23% sodium chloride instead of 0.22% sodium chloride. Had the solution reached the patient, it would have barcode scanned for nursing without error and likely would have resulted in serious harm to the patient. The dispense prep system was fixed so that this error does not occur again. In the category of improving diagnosis, the winner is the Department of Radiology at Einstein Health Network, part of Jefferson Health. Dr. Young Young, Dr. Kevin Lowe, Dr. Peter Wang, Mira Cassaretti, Dr. Terrence Madelon, and Dr. Ryan Lee. This team sought to improve compliance rates of radiologists recommended follow-up imaging studies by engaging the patient in their own health care. They collaborated with a startup software company to develop and implement a natural language processing algorithm and tracking and reminder system that identifies patients requiring follow-up imaging based on radiology reports, organizes follow-up recommendations by due date, and reminds patients of due or overdue recommendations via mobile text messages. This new automated system significantly improved rates of imaging follow-up and subsequently improved patient care and outcomes. This workflow has been fully implemented to include all patients in the network. This year's winner in the long-term care facility category is Donnell Grove at South Mountain Restoration Center. Donnell was a floor nurse at South Mountain for many years before taking over as infection preventionist in January 2022. Shortly after coming on board, she helped the facility navigate a COVID-19 outbreak. Due to her efforts, only six residents became acutely ill, all in the same unit of 33 residents. Among Donnell's many accomplishments, she has taken over vaccination clinics for COVID and the flu, ensuring that the majority of residents are up to date on vaccinations. She coordinates the sterilization of reusable equipment used by clinical staff and trains staff on the use of PPE, glucometers, and maintenance and cleaning of the equipment. She was instrumental in understanding the new enhanced barrier precautions and assisted in developing the necessary policies and procedures and upgrading the management of PPE supplies on the units for efficiency and accountability. In the next category, Physician Offices, the winner is the Quality Department at OSS Health. 
With many surgeries being outpatient or inpatients being discharged within a few days after surgery, hospitals and ambulatory surgical centers can have a hard time identifying post-op complications. This department created a process between a hospital and the clinic where patients were seen for their post-op visits for infection control surveillance to identify post-op infections. An opportunity to identify other post-op complications or events was identified and merged with the surgical surveillance process. In this program for three months post-op, staff ask every surgical patient a series of questions to identify post-op complications. Although this unique process is time-intensive, it shows a commitment to identifying issues and improving patient outcomes. And now the Executive Director's Choice Award goes to Jesse Hickson at Allegheny Health Network Monroeville Ambulatory Surgery Center. In May, a patient was in the facility to have a procedure. When Jesse Hickson, the nursing leader, was made aware that this patient had been seen in the hospital for suicidal ideations, she took the patient to a quiet consult room to discuss that they were not going to have the procedure due to the hospital visit and medications that were given. The patient then threatened her and the staff. Uncertain whether the patient had a weapon, Jesse de-escalated the situation and distracted the patient so they could alert other staff to call for help. She was barricaded in the room with the patient for almost 30 minutes to ensure that staff and visitors were safe behind locked doors, until police then arrived and apprehended the patient for transport to the hospital. Through this difficult and dangerous incident, Jesse remained clear-headed and proactive, going above and beyond to keep the patient, staff, and visitors safe. As a result, security systems were improved and on-site security has been provided. Jesse, so much for taking the action to keep everyone in this situation safe. When we enter nursing school or become a nurse, we often don't think that, you know, there are going to be times that we have to act as security as well, yet we do. We shouldn't have to, but in some cases, we need to. And I want to thank you, Jesse, and all of the nurses who go into work every day to provide care for patients and actually put their own lives, at times, on the line to provide that care. Thank you so much, Jesse. Congratulations to all of our winners, and thank you for everything you do. Look for their stories soon on our website and social media, and please join me in sharing and celebrating their achievements.